Whenever daunting distance keeps the sick from care, Angel Flight is there. With free flights to hospital and home again, Australia wide. I'm going to tell you a few very short, very human stories. There are many thousands of such stories in Angel Flight's history. These stories are not typical. Angel Flight has no typical stories. Every mission is unique and tailored to the needs of each passenger. We help rural Australians with health problems, with family struggles and serious financial worries. Australians with quite enough trouble without the daunting distances to travel for essential medical treatment. All Angel Flight services are free with volunteer pilots and volunteer drivers helping their passengers as if they were family. This is Poppy. She has a balance disorder that still has no specific diagnosis. She needs ongoing trips from her home in Coffs Harbour to Brisbane's Royal Children's Hospital. Leonie became profoundly deaf at age 47. In a pre-surgical check for a cochlear implant, a brain aneurysm was found. With a young family and living south of Sydney at Marimbula, Angel Flight has helped Leone nearly a hundred times. Kayla made nearly 400 flights with Angel Flight from her home in Chinchilla to Brisbane. Most of these flights were to receive hemolytic dialysis as early as sickness had left her with no kidneys. The Angel Flight team is dealing with up to 20 such missions every day of the week. If we have to drive to Sydney, it takes about five hours. Going on Angel Flight, it's an hour, a bit over an hour. Um, it's just absolutely wonderful. They're just fantastic. They're absolutely fantastic. Not enough people know about them. I tell everyone I know about them. Now, meet some of the real Angel Flight heroes, the pilots and drivers who volunteer so much to help those doing it so tough. We can see the need for people to get back into the city for specialist care and we're more than willing to help. We wanted to put something back into the community and we saw a great connect between our joy of flying and the pleasure we've had out of it and uh, the opportunity to use that through the charity. Life's been pretty kind to me. Uh, I'm fortunate to be able to use an aircraft in my business and it's, it's one small thing I can do in return. Well, rather than just making donations to organisations, it's much, I find it's much better this way because I, you get to meet the people who you're dealing with and you can see the need there too. Travel by road from Coffs Harbour to Brisbane made Poppy nauseous for days. With Angel Flight's help, she now avoids all travel side effects and is showing steady improvement. Leone continues flights for treatment in Canberra. She now has a second cochlear implant and with ongoing adjustment is hearing better and better. Kayla received a kidney transplant in 2008, which was functioning perfectly until 2011 when it sadly failed. Kayla passed away in 2013. So that's Angel Flight, providing free of charge, non-emergency medical transport for rural people of all ages needing to travel to and from treatment centres Australia-wide. Passengers are treated with sensitivity and respect, often beyond any they have ever experienced. Passengers are met on arrival in often strange and frightening cities by an equally caring volunteer driver who befriends them and takes them to hospital or accommodation. Angel Flight receives no government funding, relying solely on donations. We have no fundraising staff and spend no money on fundraising activity. Over 85 cents of every dollar donated is spent on aviation fuel and flight coordination. Angel Flight is nothing without the wonderful help of the many thousands of volunteer drivers and pilots who give selflessly of their time, their cars, their planes and their skill to help fellow Australians going through a very tough patch. Thank you very much. <laughs>